On April 23, 2019, the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory AFRL, Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstration Shield, Advanced Technology Demonstration ATD, program successfully achieved a major goal. A laser developed as part of the program has shot down several air-launched missiles in flight. U.S. Air Force officials said the test was conducted at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. The SHIELD program is intended to protect aircraft from incoming missiles. Viewers may note that the U.S. Air Force contracted Lockheed Martin to manufacture the laser in 2017. It's a game-changing technology in a true sense and will transform the way air combats are fought in the future. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes America's self-protect high-energy laser shield demonstrator Shield, that shot down incoming missiles. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The dynamic of air engagement has changed in the last decade. Countries like Russia and China are fielding highly sophisticated air defense systems and are in the process of deploying fifth-generation fighter jets. In this situation, American fourth as well as fifth-generation fighters will find it difficult to penetrate the rival's airspace. Increasing powerful air defense systems could be able to detect, track, and engage even the most stealthy jet like the F-22 Raptor in the future. The Russian S-400 is at the forefront of this. The powerful main radar of S-400, which has a range of 600 kilometers, is complemented by target acquisition radars like 67N6 Gamma D and 9N6 Protivnik G radars in L band, Nebo SVU in the very high frequency band, and Nebo M and Zebu M in multiband. Nebo SVU and Zebu M is touted to have the ability to detect stealth aircraft. The radars are highly resistant to jamming and hence are hard to disable using electronic warfare. The situation gets grimmer in case of F-35 Lightning II, which will be most numerous fifth-generation fighter that will be available to NATO and American allies. Unlike the F-22 Raptor, F-35 has many compromises. F-35's airframe is not as stealthy as the one on the F-22 Raptor. Against X-band radars, it's only stealthy from the front and the rear. Against S-band radar, it's stealthy from the narrow front aspect. Against L-band radar, the limited reduction is achieved from direct front. It has a much greater reliance on radar-absorbing materials to maintain its stealth profile. Apart from the challenge coming from air defenses, it's to be noted that Russian Su-57 and Chinese J-20 fifth-generation stealth fighters are shaping up for full-scale combat deployment. These jets could probably get close to American fighters and fire short-range missiles as well as get a lock-on with long-range beyond visual range missiles. Taking these aspects into consideration, America needs to develop a competent defensive weapon that will work in conjunction with stealth and electronic warfare to suppress air defenses and attacks from enemy fighter jets. The SHIELD program is developing a directed energy laser system that will act as a demonstrator for a self-defense system that could eventually enable aircraft to protect themselves from surface-to-air SAM, and air-to-air AAM missiles. The system could be deployed as an add-on pod in the future. The test demonstrated the ability of the laser developed under SHIELD system to neutralize incoming missiles. The exact number of missiles that have been downed is not made public for security reasons. Dr. Kelly Hammett, director of AFRL's Directed Energy Directorate, said, This critical demonstration shows that our directed energy systems are on track to be a game-changer for our warfighters. 
Major General William Cooley, AFRL commander, said, The successful test is a big step ahead for directed energy systems and protection against adversarial threats. The ability to shoot down missiles with speed of light technology will enable air operation in denied environments. I'm proud of the AFRL team advancing our Air Force's directed energy capability. The current system used for the test was ground-based and is quite heavy. AFRL's statement said, The final shield system, however, will be much smaller and lighter, as well as ruggedized for an airborne environment. It's expected that after this successful ground-based test, a test from a flying platform could be taken up in 2020. Lasers have some very important advantages. The speed of light enables them to hit their targets almost instantaneously. Laser weapons also don't need to carry ammunition like traditional systems, and hence they'll be able to take out a much larger number of threats, constrained only by the power supply limit of the platform. This is not the first time the American military has tested laser weapons. In 2010, the Air Force mounted and fired off a megawatt-class chemical laser from a modified Boeing 747. Things have changed since then, and instead of unstable chemical laser used for that experiment, solid-state lasers are now being used. Another test with LAWS was conducted in 2014. Laser Weapon System, or LAWS, is a directed energy weapon developed by the United States Navy. It will act as a short-range, self-defense system against drones and boats. Having a cost of less than $1 per shot, it's a very cost-effective solution. But missiles are much harder to neutralize when compared to drones and boats, as they're much faster and the laser has very limited time to focus its energy on it. So this demonstration is an excellent achievement. There's still a complex technical challenge to miniaturize the current prototype so that it can be fitted onto military aircraft. But with constant funding and efforts being made, things are expected to fall into place slowly. It's to be noted that AFRL is leading the program to stop ground-to-air and air-to-air anti-aircraft missiles, whereas Missile Defense Agency MDA, is studying the feasibility of using high-energy laser mounted on an F-35 to knock down ICBMs. It's expected that the result of this study will be available by the end of this year. Overall, it can be said that America seems to be winning the laser weapons race as of now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.